The Graveyard Poets, also known as the Churchyard Poets, were a group of 18th century English poets who focused on themes of mortality, death, and the transient nature of life. Coined by Samuel Johnson, their melancholic and contemplative poetry emerged as a response to the Enlightenment ideals of reason and order. Their introspective exploration of human existence offered a contrast to the prevailing optimism of the time. The influence of the graveyard poets extended beyond their era, shaping the development of Romanticism with their emphasis on nature, the sublime, and personal emotions. Notable poets of this movement include Thomas Gray, Robert Blair, William Collins, and Edward Young, each employing vivid imagery and introspection to evoke a sense of melancholy and contemplation. Their work left a lasting impact on English poetry, laying the foundation for future literary movements. Thomas Gray's elegy written in a country churchyard is deeply influenced by the graveyard poets and the contemplation of death. Gray's poem reflects the concerns and aesthetic sensibilities of the period by exploring the transient nature of human life, the fragility of human achievements, and the inevitable fate of all individuals. The poem's setting in a rural churchyard, a place of burial and reflection, aligns with the fascination of the graveyard poets with death and the contemplation of mortality. Gray's contemplative tone and introspective mood resonate with the prevalent melancholic sentiment of the time, which was a reaction to the rapid changes brought about by the Enlightenment and the Industrial Revolution. In terms of its place within the tradition of English elegiac poetry, Gray's elegy follows the conventions of the genre while also displaying unique characteristics. The poem mourns the loss of common individuals and their unfulfilled potential, echoing the elegiac tradition of lamenting the passing of ordinary lives. However, it goes beyond individual grief and mourns the fate of humanity as a whole. Gray emphasizes the universal nature of mortality, reflecting the broader societal concerns of the period. Gray's elegy combines elements of both neoclassicism and romanticism, two influential literary movements of the 18th century. The poem demonstrates neoclassical traits through its structured verse, classical poetic devices, and allusions to classical sources. However, it also incorporates romantic elements with its vivid nature descriptions, exploration of personal emotions, and emphasis on the sublime and introspection. In capturing the concerns and aesthetic sensibilities of the 18th century, the poem reflects the prevailing fascination with mortality, the melancholic mood of the era, and the interplay between neoclassical and romantic influences. It stands as a significant contribution to the tradition of English elegiac poetry while encapsulating the spirit of its time. The poem reflects the ethical concerns and aesthetic sensibilities of the 18th century and its place within the tradition of English elegiac poetry. The paths of glory lead but to the grave. This line reflects the transient nature of human life and the inevitable fate of all individuals, a prevalent concern in the 18th century. Gray critiques the vanity and fleeting nature of worldly achievements, emphasizing the theme of mortality, in the following line. The boast of heraldry, the pomp of power. In the line, far from the madding crowd's ignoble strife, the use of madding crowd conveys a sense of isolation and retreat from the bustling world, reflecting the prevalent melancholic sentiment. The line, the curfew tolls the knell of parting day, 
establishes a somber and introspective mood, inviting readers to contemplate the passage of time and the transitory nature of life. Gray employs structured verse and classical poetic devices, such as rhyme and meter, throughout the poem. We discern the influence of Romanticism on Gray in his vivid descriptions of nature, such as the lowing herd wind slowly o'er the lee, that evoke a sense of awe and appeal to the reader's emotions and imagination. The poem laments the fate of common individuals and their unfulfilled potential, echoing the elegiac tradition of mourning the passing of ordinary lives. Gray's focus on the universal nature of mortality, rather than personal grief, expands the scope of the elegy to reflect broader societal concerns. These textual references and examples highlight the ways in which the poem embodies the concerns and aesthetic sensibilities of the 18th century, as well as its place within the tradition of English elegiac poetry. Therefore, Elegy written in a country churchyard is a quintessential graveyard poem that embodies the themes and characteristics associated with the genre. It contemplates mortality, explores the transient nature of life, and reflects the concerns of the graveyard poets. The setting of a country churchyard creates a solemn and reflective atmosphere, while the melancholic tone evokes a sense of sadness and introspection. Through vivid imagery of death and decay, Gray conveys the idea of transience. The poem also reflects on the legacy and fame of those buried in the churchyard, raising moral and philosophical questions about life's purpose and the importance of virtue. The poem exemplifies the essence of graveyard poetry, delving into the profound impact of death and the transient nature of human existence.